there's someone clear across here at high speed. Two, three. That is going to die no matter what. Whenever I see one of those. There's another one behind him actually. As long as they keep driving out in front of me like lemmings, it's going to make it look like this is a good tank. It is a good tank, trust me. Right, I seen something with bright yellow camouflage somewhere. There's that boy, there he is. Driver engine radiators out. And killed by a T-62 on Monument. Very annoying, of course. Super. Yes, that's exactly what it was. No, oh, it's not going to be. There he goes. Okay, drag shoots out. And my game froze. Again. <laughs> Anytime today, Ordinder. Okay. I don't know, I should probably keep this footage in. This has been happening to me every single game for the past week. Frustrating. For someone who does this really for his living, honestly. Enemy spotted. Another AMX 30 Super. Oh, is he rolling scissors? Yeah, he is. Okay, dead. Next guy. Okay, BMP's dead. We've got one more target on the cap. I was gonna try and get a rocket on that guy. Oh, there goes my tail damage. <laughs> no! <laughs> mm -hmm. Odd. That's the one I was scared of. <laughs> Missed him. I'm so dead if this hits me. Oh god, dude. Okay, let's fire out. Oh, oh my god, dude. What a game. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at the C2A1 Mexus. This is the event vehicle that's on for Operation Suffer right now. And I'm going to give my opinion on it. And my opinion is, this is a fantastic tank. It is really good if you are grinding for it. It will definitely add to your Germany 9.0 lineup. And even as a standalone tank, it will do pretty well. Now, as a couple of caveats, uh, this, if you are an inexperienced player at this battle rating, if you're currently only at rank 3 or rank 4, this will be an entirely different experience. Bringing this tank out on its own will definitely hinder yourself and your teammates. So just bear that in mind if this is your first vehicle that you're going to be bringing out. It will be very difficult for you, no doubt. So why is it a good tank? And the reason is simple. It's a Leopard. And it's a very good Leopard. This thing has the 105 L7A3 cannon. Whereas the L44 version, which is the premium, has the 120. But that really doesn't make that much difference to be honest with you. DM33 here is the top tier shell for this thing. 408mm of penetration is not to be snuffed at. Almost 150 meters per second as well. Your rank 1 modification, which is the first thing I would definitely grind for this after you've got your parts on FPE, this is 137. This will be more than good enough to deal with everything that you'll face at 9.0. It will start to struggle, however, when you get in full up tiers to 10.0, and that will happen very regularly. The DM12 is the stock shell. It's got 400mm of penetration at 0 degrees. However, it's the velocity you're going to struggle with. This thing is only 1200 meters per second, which is a lot slower than the APFS DS rounds that you'll get. Not to mention that a lot of the vehicles you'll be fighting have ERA and NERA, and that will struggle to go through, definitely. This is one of the tanks that has that feature. If we just look at the armor here, a lot of composite screens on here that are very good at defeating EFS. Let me just show you on the protection analysis. If we're shooting ourselves with our own shell, if you angle the turret here, you're almost impenetrable. Now, for higher BR EFS shells, they will go straight through here and knock your breach out. And obviously, you've got nothing underneath here as well. 
The composite screen on here is only good for the lower front plate, which is a very strange choice, Canada. But yeah, anything hits your upper front plate here, you are more likely going to die. Ammo's on this side, and your driver is on this side. So more than likely you'll get your driver and your gunner knocked out in one shot, leaving you very vulnerable, if not one shot and out of the game. Other honourable mentions that make this tank very good, other than the ERA and its gun, is the thermal imaging. You get Gen 1 thermals, which is very good. Very good for spotting things. And obviously it gives you a very nice advantage on the battlefield. There are a lot of Russian vehicles that you will face that don't have thermal imaging, that are lower battle than you, and that includes the Americans as well. The way to think of this tank is that it's a very good Leo. I would really not depend on the ERA elements too much unless you're getting hit by things that are a lower battle rate than you that only have EFS shells, but you will be on par with everything at your battle rating and pretty much above. On top of this, you get a very nice scope. This is an 8 times optic, up to 16 times. So spotting things at range and engaging things at range is what this tank does best. Now for the downsides, this tank doesn't do very well driving up hills. It loses a lot of its speed going up and traversing. But on a flat, it's just on par with any other Leo really. The next thing is the reload speed. Compared to things at 10.0 and generally anything at 9.3 and above, it is pretty slow. 8.7 seconds is stock. Even though I've experted my crew here, you'll see it's not been modified. So I had to play this with almost a 9 second reload. And definitely that puts you at a slight disadvantage. Against the M1 Abrams and M1 IP, they now have a 5 second reload aced and you will be facing a lot of those players. My recommendation for a newer player is to shoot enemy breaches and gunners mainly and then go for mobility and then the kill shot. It will take you a while to take an enemy out so make sure that you're with some teammates or you're isolating your engagements to a single enemy at a time. But yeah, I can't stress this enough. This is a fantastic tank to grind for if you don't have access to top tier. If you're already at Germany 9.0 Oh man, you have a really nice lineup here. You have vehicles like the Leo A1A1 L44, if you already have it, like I just mentioned. That paired with the C2A1 is going to be an absolutely monstrous lineup. Not only that, you've got a light tank with the Radcam Wagon 90. You even have the TAM, which will do absolutely fine at 9.0. KPZ 70 is another option as well if you want to bring these things up to 9.0. And obviously, you've got the Gepard and the infamous G91 R3. Now I wouldn't dismiss the Leo A1A1 at all, but if you've got the C2A1 and the L44, there's really no reason to bring it out. Unless of course you don't have the L44, which a lot of you won't, in which case definitely put this in your lineup. It's still a fantastic tank. Now I'm going to show you a very lengthy top tier game in the next couple of minutes, and I will be taking out a backup vehicle, it's in the form of the G91R3. I am not a fan of bringing out one single vehicle, even when I'm doing like a review, because it really doesn't show anything to do with the vehicle. Now I will be taking a tank out, then a plane, then another tank, and that's generally how I play these videos out if you're new here. If you're killed early in a match, you're kind of being useless to your team, even more of a hindrance. And when it comes to top tier, not bringing some sort of close air support, you are really shooting yourself in the foot. Something else I would like to add is, I have a very unusual bug I know that other players are experiencing, my game decides whether I have thermals or not, and it will switch on and off at will. I am not controlling it, there's nothing I can do about it, so I do apologise. Epilepsy warning, definitely when it comes to this next match. Now another thing that makes this even more frustrating is when it's switching backwards and forwards, I cannot turn my turret at all. I cannot elevate my gun, I can't traverse it, it's just something that I have to deal with. Gaijin haven't fixed it yet. And yeah, you're going to see this a lot in the next video. Despite all that, I do play this tank to its strengths. So if you are a newer player, you're about to receive this tank in the next couple of days, then definitely watch the full game. I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, this is a 10-0 game. But we've got a big map. There we go. I think my thermals are going to work here, thankfully, because it's very dusty. Two cap, well, battle is definitely going to be an interesting one, though. Let's keep our eyes peeled for little dots in the horizon. There's one right there. That might be British by the looks of it. It's just going to be a real pain to pen from here. Even with DM33. Send one his way just in case. 
That hell is going to be our most worrisome area. See if any fast Roy cats and stuff pop up there. Abrams? Very poor shot. Tried to get a mobility shot on him, but nope. He's going to be watching this area. And... Got a ring. No damage to any crew, though. I'll take it, though. Uh, just a little bit too low on his plate. We're okay here though, we just really need to keep an eye out up there, just in case. 1600. I'm actually just gonna drop some arty over on this guy. Everyone's got thermals generally, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, here we go. Invisible boy. First shot. He's popped in out of existence. Damn, dude, I didn't realize that rock was sticking up as much as it was. Any more gonna go that way? We're getting hits with our hearty. That was a, a challenger, Mar 2. The first guy we spotted earlier. This tank is a weird... The yeah, the, the turret is very... Jittery, is the word I'm looking for, I think. He just took a turn. No, I tell you what it is, it's that thermal bug that I get. My thermal switches on and off. And I can't turn my turret. Yeah, it's doing it on its own. I'm not doing that, by the way. I don't have any choice in this. Abrams might be dead over here now. MBT-70 shooting over this side as well. I didn't think that J-29 was going to get away with that. T-72 is in trouble over here, but it means I need to cross that open ground, and that I do not want to do. I just spotted that guy. Did one did 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 Miko? Okay. Miko's not paying attention. Too busy looking that direction. I'm still not. No, Miko's not spotted this guy. He's got. Uh. Right, okay. Track. That is an absolutely terrible shot by me. He missed me though. This challenger too knows exactly what he's doing. Okay, engine transmission radio, but his gun barrel's still up. Is he putting his fire out? Yeah, he is. Something is really wrong with my game or something. 
I've got this really weird turret jerk as well, and it's not to do with my thermals this time. Oof. Am I actually, like, fighting it a little bit? You're definitely dead, right? Setting a range on that since they never spotted me. No, my, maybe it is my thermals that's causing this. I'm trying to switch them off, but it's not working. Yeah, they just keep coming back on. <laughs> they just keep coming back on. God, dude, this game. Why? Why do I need to fight my mouse? My god, that is so awkward. I can't- can you guys see that? What is happening with my- look at this. Okay. It's like there's a force acting against me. So I have to like, fight it as well as I have to aim. Still that Abrams up there. Could be in that area actually. Hello Diff. Good to have a battle buddy. Okay. That's not a, that's not a body. Enemy. Aircraft. I don't want to get distracted by this jet, but at the same time, if it's an FJ, I'll try to turn my thermals off so I can get a better idea of what this is. Nope. Is this G91 also fighting? I think it's a Sabre. Definitely rolly. I can't keep doing that, I don't have enough ammunition. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is hell. Agile hell. I don't know where this Abrams is, but in this uh in battle, there's there's no sense in pushing up. I think something just shot at me. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. That's not right. Fifteen fifty seems more like it. No, what is going on here? Thirteen seven five. Okay, we have to hold over just a tiny bit. I'm having that rock of his cover is of great concern. Uh, yeah, something is really... I don't know if it's this tank or it's just... Can you see? You can definitely see that little uh, jerk on my... on my uh, gun sight, right? But it's doing it even when I'm sitting still. And there's no arty or anything dropping near me. So there's definitely a problem. And then the round seems to like... I don't know, appear in mid-air rather than out of my barrel. Definitely unusual behaviors. Charlie Mar 2 may be up on the rocks in the middle. T3457. I can't push out here, I'll get killed. Oh. Well, speaking of getting killed. Sergeant Bjork. Or Sergeant York, sorry. <laughs> I've got this bad habit of calling them all Bjorks now. Hopefully my teammate caught wind of that guy being there. 
four rounds. Not an awful lot of ammo. There he goes. Yes. Good job, Gideon. Still have ticket disadvantage. So we've got two guys who haven't died yet. And a high number of kills. Is this our guy up there? Wait, what is that? No, it's just a weird graphic around a rock. On two cap, it's more important you stay alive. We've got 10 minutes. We got a G91, they've got no SPA, no air support. So you just gotta take your time. <coughs> Excuse me. The pressure is on the enemy, not on us. Although we are down on tickets, that's okay. We are we are definitely up on teammates. This G91 picks up one kill, that's definitely gonna help us a lot. I don't know what he's rocketing. Well there we go. G72 is just won that engagement. So, this Abram's still up here somewhere. Careful, Def. I see the Abrams now. Okay, that's a cannon breach and engine. Oh, I missed this driver. Two two rounds left though of APFS DS. Okay. That guy didn't really well. I kind of feel gilly for that. He got an ace though. One APFS DS left. It's very likely he'll have an aircraft to bring out. I can more or less safely move up, which is exactly what I'm going to do. He respawned. Vickers Mark 7. We shouldn't have any issues going through it. Shoka fire an arm. Attention to the map. Mm -hmm. If I don't kill him with a uh, APFS DS, I've only got two hair shells. Actually, the game is almost over. My teammate is capped very well. What a game for that guy, though. This guy is not paying attention, really. Damn. We'll drive forward and see if we can get him. Oh, GG. Can I? No, drive up. <laughs> only. I know I only got a hash, but yeah. Ooh. The Vickers Mark 7 got on the cap. That's not good. Okay. Right. Now we have ticket advantage. So, we just need to not die, really. Charles is gonna respawn behind me and I don't have any smoke or ammo. He's in an aircraft. Good. It's a prop as well.
There goes my bridge. No one's nearby. <laughs> Tried to bait a bad shot. No, he got me. Okay, we're coming back in the G91. Damn, dude, I've had one more dart, everything would have been fine. Oof. Okay, G91 time. We just need to make sure we don't get yoinked by this prop. We got four minutes left and we win by default just because we have way more tickets now. Can't believe that guy rescued the game though. That is absolutely amazing. I've never seen that before. In all the hours I've had playing War Thunder, definitely a first. This SPA is giving this Vickers a go. Here comes an A2D. He's stalling out? No, he's not. Come on, G91. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> he's still climbing, dude. That turbo prop, though. Oh, away from the bow. Did he drop all of his bombs? I think he may have done. I can't keep up this claim and he can. So down we go. And we are speed. Wait, where's this chieftain at? Well, he's dead. So just this A to D. Don't bring him into hair on me, dude. No, Matilda, what are you doing? Okay, he's, he's straightening out. a lot of backflips. Okay, he's back up. Let's see. Long range ye. What are you? Chieftain? Wrong button. Uh, what is going on with my controls? My game is so scuffed right now. It wouldn't let me control my Nord. It wouldn't let me control my Nord at all. Okay, this time, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. And that should be it now. Did that guy put up a serious fight? This burp did? Oh my goodness, 200 tickets left. Is he gonna respawn? Jarl's left too. That was intense, for damn sure. He's back in something. On oh, agile hero, a striker. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Get him, Gideon. He must be done now. That would have been an expensive game for him. Holy moly. Yeah, okay, finally. <laughs> GG. <laughs> so I apologize for all the bugs that I have, but it's one of the reasons I don't feature top tier vehicles on the channel just now. There's so much vehicles as well I would love to show and showcase, but unfortunately right now it's just too difficult to do. But do not let that detract from the fact that this is a fantastic vehicle. It's one of the best event vehicles Gaijin has provided. Just bear in mind it's not a premium vehicle, so for grinding it's not that great. But I wouldn't miss out on it if you've got enough time to grind it. 
or if you have enough expendable income to pick one up off the market once the event is over. And like I said, Gemini 9093 is just like one of the god tier lineups at the minute. And yeah, this just adds further and further into how good it is. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful as equally it was entertaining for you. If you guys don't mind, if you would hit the like button and subscribe for more content in the future. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.